hi you're welcome to my channel so in this video i'll be showing you how to create this beautiful sleeve okay it's like a flare sleeve or an a-shaped sleeve we can see with folds so it depends on how you place your fabric but note you're going to pick one end just like this and fold it across slantly we call it you fold on bias you can see you pick one edge and pass it across slantly. Then the part that is slanted, you now adjust it to face you. Just like what I did now. The part that is on fold, you adjust it to face, to be in front of you. Like this. Okay? So you can see I have a pointed edge. So from the pointed edge, I'm going to... Okay, so you pick your tape measure and measure the part that you can get your armhole measurement okay so i'll be using eight inches for my armhole measurements plus one inch allowance so make sure you adjust it you find the particular place that is wide enough for your armhole you know when we are creating a basic sleeve so i adjusted mine and that's the part i'll be using so you mark that place first and draw a straight line. So from this part, you now go up by your cap height. So I'll be using 4 inches for my cap height. And you know to find your cap height, that's your chest round, your bust round divided by 12 plus 0 0.5 inches. So all I'm trying to do is to create the um, a sleeve curve here, my ammo curve. So I measured this curve to make sure I have the same thing on the fabric, my armhole on the fabric. So with this, I have the exact measurement, but I needed some free allowance to fold or to pleat on this part of my own sleeve. So I went ahead to add half inch to my already measured um, yes figures I have there. My caps I added half inch and my I'm all added half inch. So that's why we have two lines there. So I recross check. I cross check to make sure I'll have excess. So from the sleeve edge there, which is supposed to be the shoulder part, I measure my sleeve length. So my actual sleeve length, when I measured it, whatever I have, so I think I'll be using about 18 it depends on how long you want your sleeve length so i now took my tape measure back to the pointed edge that pointed edge so that i can have um a, 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 a round cuff at the end of my sleeve so whatever i have from there that's what i'll keep measuring all through while adjusting the pointed edge like that Now connect this point together. Okay. So this is it. This is all about it. I hope you understand this. You can go over it again for proper understanding. Then I'll cut it out. Okay. So this is it. I went ahead and cut two pieces. So it's as simple as this. So I'm going to aim it. I'll join it by the side. Then sew the M also. So this is what this is what I have. This is what it looks like. I've attached it to the sleeve, and it's as simple as this, guys. Okay, so this is the end result. This is the sleeve. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and feel free to share your opinion in the comment section. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.